Hello, fight fans. I am Phoenix Carnavalli alongside Boss Rutten, and this is Karate Combat. And we are going to get a really good match here. I mean, you lead the way, Phoenix, because this is going to be great. Well, what's also really cool is that heads-up display, as you can see there, Boss. That heads-up display is going to tell you all about what these fighters are going through as they're going through it. Nice. Now, this guy here, a guy, the guy with the beard. Wow, everybody is talking about him. Yeah, Great Rafael Agaev is one of the greatest of all time in question. He is a five-time world champion, a record ten-time European champion. He, the guy, he just mixes up his striking so well. And who he's facing is also another top talent in Denisio Gustavo. As you can see, Gustavo, it's just tremendous in tremendous shape. Gustavo, nice. he is from the Dominican Republic and uh, he was inspired to train karate after watching Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan like many of us. Yeah, that includes me. So you see the very yeah. light on their feet, traditional sort of karate bounce. Uh, that usually allows a fighter to blitz in effectively. You can see he's kind of testing, Gustavo's testing his opponent to see what Gaev does. And he's got great movement as well. Yeah, there you go, little feints and fakes little trying faint. to figure out what the love opponent's it. doing. I love it. And not many fighters use that. It's so effective. And look how Gustav, oh, how he stays just outside his reach again, Gaev. Yeah, bringing his foot to the outside so that he can line up the straight punch. You can see the concentration on these fighters, just kind of looking for any type of flinch, any type of movement. Yeah, and he has to watch out because Gustavo, wow, nice there, has the reach advantage over him, arm length, so that's why he stays a little further away from his opponent. Now, what you're watching, see, throws are allowed. Yes, they are standing up. There will be no ground and pound. It throws are allowed. You have a five-second rule once you get to the ground. Just a reminder, this is a ten-point must system. <laughs> We're looking for effective striking, effective control. Both fighters has great distance. You see it, right? One moves forward, the other one identically moves backwards. And another takedown here. Beautifully moved to the side mount. And now he will rain down some punches for five seconds. Yes, if the grounded opponent is unable to protect himself on the ground from additional blows, the bout will be ended by the referee. Ooh, he puts his hands all the way down. He does that for a reason. He's, he's tricking him into doing something. Oh, nice right. Gustavo, even though he's throwing the straight punches, is having a hard time connecting flush there. Uh, slow kick. <laughs> he, he, he like touched his leg though. Yeah, like whoa, nice Very inside nice leg throw. trip there. Gaev has excellent timing and he's using his distance well. Yeah, his opponent Gustavo is a little wild with his uh, attacks. Sometimes you have a hard time fighting guys that are a little bit wild because you can't really time where the craziness is coming from. <laughs> Ooh, Swing and a miss, and spinning punch there. Dead second. And they disconnect from the clinch. I think there was a headbutt. Yeah, unintentionally. <laughs> Trying to find an opening. Oh, end of the round. So we'll be going into round two. Boss, how would you score that round? Oh, it's a very hard one. At this moment, I think it's pretty even. You know, I would think uh, that a guy would have done more, but he didn't. So uh, he's, he's better at this distance, controlling the distance, and he's a little faster. So I think that he should let his opponent, Gustavo, throw some shots and counter those. Well, let's see if he takes your advice as we step into round two. Gaev in the southpaw stance. Looking for that low kick. 
Nice, yeah, but his opponent saw it coming, lifted the leg. And he's good with this, with takedowns. Very nice. Yeah, he's really good at getting his distance or bringing that distance in. A guy was warned for kicking while Gustavo was on the ground, which is not allowed. Yeah, that's an illegal move. Only strike, only punching. That I don't like from a guy. If sometimes he closes the distance too fast, he jams himself. Then again, maybe he's looking for that throw, see? So, oh, nice throw. <laughs> very nice, that's why he's doing it. He threw wow. about four or five effective strikes before allowing Gustavo to stand back up. And again, that was the five second rule. That's the same when I drop food on the floor. <laughs> Wow, so, okay, he's not jamming himself, he's doing this on purpose. <laughs> Which makes totally sense if you have five world titles. Well, you know, it, it does nice. look like Gustavo has the longer limbs between the two, and he's just jamming mm -hmm. them up as well. He keeps him in the corner. Referee starts it there as well. Yeah, they're never brought back to the center of the yes. ring. Yeah. If I was uh, Gustavo, I would uh, move back to the center. That was another nice slam by a guy. That, he, he's, he really takes advantage of using the limbs, using his opponent's body weight, and just slamming him down to the mat. And, you know, if you look about, if you think about the energy that it takes to get slammed down and then pick yourself back up. Oh, that's so one, two lands that connected. Yep. By Gustavo. That seems to be working for him, just using his long reach, punching straight down the middle. Needs to lower his stance a little bit more. It's going to be yeah, harder Gaia to take him down. Yeah, has success moving in when Gustavo throws those looping punches. And there we go again. Oh, I thought he's going to go head and arm just for a throw. Yeah, he had the body lock there, but he didn't do anything with it. Oh, that was nice there. Yeah, Gustavo well, he just using. stepped up on the pit instead of backing yeah. himself up. I wish he would have spun out. That was illegal, right? The kick. Yeah. yeah. That's not legal. Heat of the moment. They made a song who, of it. Who is bleeding? I think it was. I think it's uh, a guy. Look above his left eye, eyebrow. Yep. I and that happened it. pretty early. Whoa. All right, and round number two. Taking a look at that round, boss, and we think about the control of the pit, I would say Agaev because he's basically keeping Gustavo in that corner, but there were a few really nice straight punches that landed. Yeah, and uh, what Agaev does also, because he has to reach disadvantage, he just comes in and leather rinse repeat, right? Every time, close the distance, takes him down and throws down some uh, jackhammers. Yeah, but also very, very Number respectful, three. listening to the referee on all counts. Starting off, look, with the hugs, some camaraderie. Going into round number three, the final round. Again, using those feints and fakes, trying to figure out what Gustavo's going to do, how he's going to react. It looks like yeah. Agaev is looking for a big straight punch. Well, they're both looking for it. But I would open myself up a little bit if I was a guy and let Gustavo hit me and see if he can use that against him. Because something will open up as soon as they start attacking. They're just kind of figuring each other out here. Yeah, lots of respect. 
Again, he could have gone for a takedown there. Because he's been very effective with it in round one and two. Inside low kick. And you see this is that sort of tentative feeling between both fighters trying to figure each other out. It really does look like Agaev is, is looking for that straight left. And look, Gustavo ducks right under it. Yeah, I, I, I thought he was going to try to take him down. But he didn't. Yeah, Gustavo needs to start attacking. But he needs to follow it up with things. Punch and kicking, combine things here. There we have it again. He is on the ground. And the referee will let them back up. He's taking a look at that cut as well. There's a couple of things with cuts, uh, reasons that the fight will be stopped. One is the blood getting in the way of the fighter's ability to see. Another thing would be the location of where the cut is. How dangerous is that for the eye? Is it by a nerve? Is it going to continue to cut? Can we stop the bleeding? So that's pretty much what's happening right now. And if you have a cut, if you receive one, preferably you want to have it underneath your eye, never yeah. above. see that, that slight bounce. You're looking for all types of techniques from here. Mawasha got a roundhouse kick. Again, they're just kind of sticking to their punching, though. Yeah, and I, I would like to see some shots to the body also, straight to the body, and then come on top with a straight. Gustavo is being warned about a short hook. Again, hooks are not allowed. Ooh, that was nice. Neither fighter want to be active in the clinch, and they separate. Coming with something right. There we go. He was loading it up. Gustavo. Loading the left hand. Kazami. Straight punch. That's it. Ooh. So we go to a decision. Boss, while we wait for that decision, what do you think the judges are going to look at here? I think um, I think they're going to go for Agaev. And the reason is because he could take him down pretty much at will. He was controlling the pace, the, part, the, the, the ground and pound, so to say, the strikes that are allowed only with the hands. He did everything perfect. The decision is... Rafael Agaev from Azerbaijan. Well, there you have it. The world champion calls it. Rafael Agaev will now move forward. Again, these, is, these are the preseason bouts. The premier season will be up April 26th in Miami. And I love it that we did see the fighters already using the pit right now. They already start walking up the pit on the sides. You know, I think. In the future, we're going to see a lot of those guys really using it to their advantage. Thank you so much, fight fans, and be sure to follow all of our fights on Karate.com.